world is uh, surprisingly the 15th of October and it is six hours and 26 minutes into the day of the 15th of October and this is where we end and then about an hour or two later we begin the vlog again so we end the vlog for Tuesday the 14th no not Tuesday the 14th uh, Wednesday the 14th this is how I got my days wrong you know, this is you know, I got I I, I looked and checked. But for somehow in my, somehow in my mind I thought it was Tuesday. Not yesterday, but it wasn't Tuesday yesterday. Um It was Wednesday. And that's the day we had a lot we that's yes it, that's when we had a long ride with the lot there's gonna be a lot of content in, in, in Wednesday's vlog. So it's going to be a longer vlog than typical because there's a lot of stuff that went on. Uh, and this is this is this is how things end up working out. That, they, that sometimes things are short, sometimes things are long, uh, and, and hopefully it averages out. I, I don't want to go over a half hour, but uh, sometimes that's going to happen. I think uh, that's where the mark is. is it, typically, the mark is between the minimum should be. Around 15, and then the most should be uh, a half hour. Unless, of course, you're, do, you're doing a, a, a large travel log. But even then, in the travel log, uh, it's um, not... Uh, most people won't sit through more than an hour. <clears throat> uh, I've been in uh, lectures that have been in the 90-minute mark. That's an hour and a half, and it's it's... It's rough. It's 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 very brutal to sit there for an hour and a half, uh, uh, listening to something. Uh, it, it, you sometimes, if 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 you're taking notes or, or you're looking for something, uh, in terms of research, you have to do that. But otherwise, and it is, it, it, again, the thing I brought up on on the scooter is that uh, I wasn't yawning outside. Now I'm yawning. <laughs> I'm sitting down. I'm relaxed. It's nice and warm in here. Uh, and I'm yawning. So, it must be a, 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 a factor of air quality that uh, affects the yawn. That when you're in a more relaxed, comfortable environment, uh, typically a warmer environment, uh, you're going to yawn when you're out on the scooter or something like that. In a more active, actually, environment, uh, then you're not going to yawn. That's That uh, might be one of the, one of the sort of the you want to call it the physiological factors of yawning. So. Anyways, uh, is it? Let's go back to the because uh, it kind of pops in my mind here like this a little because it, it's the title of, of, of his vlog. It's uh, of John Tannerite's uh, vlog. I don't know was Tannerite or Tanner. Uh, <laughs> It's called "You Are Worth It," and it's but it, it, it he uses it, but he, I don't know how much he actually believes it himself in terms of being the end all and be all. Because even when he's not thinking about his worth, it, you watch and he's, he has no, he's not even thinking about value in terms of whether I'm worth it or not. He actually he does what he needs to get done, and a lot of times he does take these risks in terms of going into new areas that he doesn't know. <clears throat> and he learns as he goes along, and that's not a question of whether you're worth it or not. That's sort of more of an issue of perseverance than anything else. <clears throat> and it's also sort of the whole thing with anxiety and expectations is that if you have an expectation of yourself, and this is sort of I guess it's called the issue of self-esteem, that uh, you're going to be the best at everything, then you're not going to try new things because you're going to be afraid to fail. And so there's no fear of failure there. He goes ahead, he makes mistakes, and then as he's working things out, uh, he corrects these mistakes. I mean, this is this is part of uh, of how you uh, go to the edge. This is how you do your exploration. It, it, and as you're doing these things, it's not a question. Of, you're not consciously thinking, "Ah, oh, am I worth it or not?" That, that's not even that's not even a factor. So I I think you know. 
when you see people who do go push the edge, while they will affirm some of the other people who live by these mottos, it's not it's not something they stand up in front of a mirror and practice almost on a single on a daily basis. This is something that is well in the back of my maybe yeah I'm worth it and you know, and it's, it it and then maybe it's for other people it's it's for you know to encourage other people you know. Uh, you know, giving them the affirmation, yes, you're worth it, go ahead, keep keep going what you're doing, doing what you're doing. Uh, uh, so, uh, because I don't see, I don't see the question of worth hampering or slowing them down or impeding what they're doing. They continue on as they, uh, they continue as they go along. So that's not a question of worth, that's a question of, of perseverance. Well, it's just 12.30 in the afternoon, just about noon on the 14th, and we're back yet again for another unpackaging. And here we go. It's a delivery from our favorite place, Amazon. I know what it is, I think. <laughs> it should be some food supplies that I ordered. So that's what it's going to be. Or at least it should be that. But uh, sometimes I don't always know, uh, you know, what the situation is. So we will see. We'll shortly find out. Yep. The first package I ordered. For food, I needed salt. This is sea salt here. I like the sea salt. And I got a package of uh, tootsie rolls, the small ones. That's the that's the unpackaging. Pack, this is the unpackaging for for now. We had one earlier, so yay for that. Well, it's about an hour or so later. It's uh, seven hours and 48 minutes into the day of uh, Thursday, October 15th, 2020, of course. The year of the Great Fart Panic. <laughs> Go down in history as such. Uh, not much of historical footnote uh, that people panicked over almost nothing. You know, chronic gas is, uh, well, okay, yeah, it can be bad, but it's not that bad. Uh, anyways, uh, this is the beginning of the vlog for uh, Thursday and into Friday, the next 24 hours. So This is how we do it. This is... This is where we end, and this is where we begin. And I'm still rather sore from yesterday's ride. Uh, my body's still getting used to things. It, it was a much better ride. I am actually now planning to move up a gear into uh, the 30 and 40 uh, uh, mark limit in, term, in, uh, to, uh, in terms of the speed limit, uh, well, how fast I'm going. Right now I'm doing about 25. That's my top level. I want to get into 30. That's what. That's where I want to get into that. So, but it's going to require a bit of practice. So, uh, now that I'm more used to the accelerator, I think uh, that's sort of definitely a possibility to do that. But uh, I'll have to sort of wait and see. That it's going to take a bit more of uh, an effort to do that because uh, I'm comfortable at 25. I don't know if I'm going to be comfortable at 50. And I can't push the accelerator all the way because uh, uh, I have to learn how to sort of manage the accelerator so it's not pushing at full speed at 50 kilometers. You don't want to go from zero to 50 all of a sudden. You want to slowly build your build your speed up, and that requires more a more sort of a finer control of the accelerator. So I'm going to sort of sort of see how to sort of work that out. How to sort of uh, gauge the accelerator to the point that uh, I can actually control it, not have to sort of max out the um, the accelerator. That's what I did yesterday. I didn't max out the accelerator, and things seemed to be all right. Um, 
So if I can do that again today, and maybe on the weekend, we'll see. It really depends on the weather, too. If, if it's going to be raining, then I'm not going to be riding. So, uh, well, bit, bit by bit, uh, I have a couple more decisions to make in terms of whether I should get riding clothes or not. Uh, I know definitely for the winter, it's going to be colder out. You know, is that going to require something more specific or whatever? Uh, I'm not necessarily too sure, so uh, it's going to be sort of going to be a question of uh, what am I going to, what am I going to be able to do and what I'm not going to be able to do. So, anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now because we don't know what's going to happen for today. We'll see what ends up happening, and right now that's about it. Well, there was the dreams for fresh in the mind. I was awoken by a sound of sleigh bells. Oh, not really. It's a package from Amazon. Uh, from the postman. <laughs> Who might as well be Santa Claus. And, uh, by the way, it is uh, just about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on October 15th. And we're breaking into this box pretty well. And we order more Tootsie Rolls. You can't. Have, you can never have enough more Tootsie Rolls. See what's happened is that uh, with everything being online now, uh, I do all my food shopping online, and that means no impulsive buys. This means extra cash, and now I can stop. Uh, my good, these are are, are uh, chocolate chips. And of course, what else? Last thing. And then every time I buy, you do a utility buy, and this is this is what's happened. This was a utility buy. I have some food items in. This is a hose from a bathtub so I can empty it and fill it up with a pump. So, everything that I ordered came in. My life is right now just joyous. <laughs> I will do some gaming right now to uh, to um, satiate my appetite in terms of uh, what I came in. Uh, I'm still very, very groggy. But that's about it. That's the uh, package opening. Well, it is the 16th of October. Uh, it's five hours and ten minutes into the day of the 16th of October. And uh, we are ending the vlog for the 15th. I've got a device here I can check the date and time on. Yeah. I was correct. It's the 16th. It's a, been a pretty good day. Uh... I did my usual, my usual YouTube stroll. I followed the standard path. And I even went down some of the side paths. I, it, it, so the, the YouTube stroll is, is really shaping up. I'm really starting to enjoy it. it becomes, so it's becoming part of my routine. Uh, bit, by bit, by bit by bit, I am fixing up Firefox. I found several other alternatives that I have to configure as well and sort of test out. Uh, just in case something happens to Firefox again, you want to have a backup all ready to go. But it, it, it takes a while to transfer everything over uh, to get everything configured properly. And this is what I was talking about uh, in the video I just kind of posted today. It's about the configuration. It seems kind of confusing because wasn't he talking about the YouTube stroll before? And I was talking about the YouTube stroll, YouTube stroll, stroll before. But as you change browsers, because things are not necessarily set up, 
and you don't have sort of like a saved bookmark, uh, a whole s saved series of these uh, bookmarks, uh, you have to reconstruct them all over again. So what I'm doing now is I'm slowly bringing everything I have from Firefox into uh, backup browsers that do have the ability to export the, uh, uh, the bookmarks as a particular file. That way I can load them on into another browser and sort of have a series of browsers that sort of maintains the, uh, uh, the, the capacity to back up uh, the various different, uh, you, the, the YouTube stroll, the basic path, plus all the side paths that I have. And so that that does take a bit of time. It, 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 there is an issue of configuration uh, going on there. So, uh, and one of the things that that's been sort of been bogging me down over the last few days is that uh, I got bogged down in editing. I made a mistake with my days, and this is why I have to make sure that the uh, date, time and date stamp is there in the beginning. And make sure that I state that this is either the ending or the beginning of the vlog, and this is the end of the end of the day, and the ending part, the segment of the of the day, because I get mixed up, and it, I'm even mixed up in the video itself, and that's what causes uh, sometimes. In the, what you're seeing here, and this is the way science works in a scientific log. In a scientific journal, you don't erase things. You make notes that there are differences between the various different things. So I have uh, the thirteenth of Sept uh, the, no no the twenty third of September. I have the twenty third of September again, and the twenty third of September yet again. So there's three twenty thirds of September because there was an editing mix up, and rather than delete things. You simply note the mistake, note the corrections, and then move forward to the next, which would be the 24th. So there is uh, three September, there's three September 23rds uh, that I just finished, uh, that just finished uploading. Uh, I'll be doing, uh, a little later on today, I'll be doing the, uh, the 24th, 24th of September. And possibly the 25th. I want to make up for the time I've lost. Because I was up. I was. I'm vlogging every day. But the editing ran into a bit of a snag. And, and so I'm a little bit behind on my editing. So what goes up. The, the amount of time between. When uh, uh, the vlog is filmed. And when you see it. Is still not. Well it's still within the three week. It's still within the, uh, the three week time frame. But. But, but just barely. So I just want to get some more space in there. Uh, shrink the, the, the distance down. Uh, because I know things are going to happen again. There are going to be days where where something happens and the vlog doesn't go up properly. And giving myself that time, this cushion, allows me to sort of keep it at maximum uh, uh, between uh, two and three weeks out. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. I'll see you <laughs> for for, for uh, uh, Thursday's vlog, and it's Friday today. I'll see you in about an hour or so for Friday's vlog.